And then I, I had to go to Me Mexico. And then your dumbass went to Mexico and oh, no. streamed. Mexico. I did. I did stream from Mexico. I Come had to go on, to Mexico man. for my family. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I went to Cabo. We, we stayed at a resort. But, uh... You stayed at a resort during yeah. the strike? What strike? The writer's strike. Do you think that's appropriate? <laughs> what, what are they... <laughs> are, they <laughs> are they working at the Mexico just, resort? Um, yeah, just I, I pulled a curveball. I pull, yeah, good. I pulled a Bill Maher. Um, but yeah, I something happened to me that apparently happened to you as well. Yeah, I I I stepped foot in the Cabo airport and I got uh, I got detained. I got detained by the Customs and Border Patrol of Mexico. Uh, they they looked. They took one look at me. I had the big Pelican case exactly with my electronic equipment, exactly. and they're like, "Ah ha ha, come here." And I go over there, and he's like, "Hit this button." He oh, goes, he made you, he, they didn't even make me hit the button. Yeah, he goes, hit this button. I'm like, oh, <laughs> what, what What do you mean? He's like, if the light lights up, you got to go into the x-ray machine. Dare I'm like, oh, button, fucking. I, look, my name is Hassan, okay? I have traveled to and from the United States of America. I know those fucking shits are not random. Do you understand? Like, I always get random ID checked, um, even though I have fucking uh, clear. Or I always will have, like, How additional... How dare you, um... How dare you accuse them of not being honest with the button? I, for myself, I think it is random. I've never been selected. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. And my experience yeah. is random. It's, yeah, exactly. But uh, I always get selected. Like, when I'm coming into America, they always pull me to the side. And the second selection is so annoying because they do it right as you board on the plane. Mm. I don't know if you know this. Right as you board on the plane... They will pull you to the side and go, oh, sorry, you got randomly, uh, you know, you, it shows on the records that we have to randomly search you. And like, because when you're about to board the plane, you're like, all right, I made it. Like, this is the final checkpoint. Like, you're not supposed to like be you're stopped already at that walking point. On the, yeah. Like, like literally, the ramp. before you get on the ramp, in between, you know where they're like, touching, your, like when they're, when they're clicking on your boarding pass? Yeah. But yeah. Past that. Are there at that point? Okay. Yeah, they just okay. stop you there, and they're like, "We have to do one more search." Sorry, mm -hmm. um, which is fine. It's whatever. It's an inconvenience, but I'm used to it. I just didn't know that it would happen in Mexico because spiritually, Mexicans, Flexicans, and, and Turks are the same. But they didn't profile you. They just profiled <coughs> you for being rich. Yeah, not, exactly. They profiled me for being perfect. a rich gringo. Yeah. Uh, instead, so yeah, they, they shake you down. One hundred percent. So tell me how much they get from you. Um, whatever, nineteen percent. I so like the uh, tax thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same fucking thing to me. Yeah, like twenty percent of uh, of one thousand dollars. And they looked up the most expensive. They didn't look it up. Oh, they didn't even look it. No. Up. So what did they get you on? So they hit the button, and and then they were like, "You have, uh, you know, <laughs> I go through the extra machine. They're like, you have electronics." You have electronics in here, and I'm like, yeah. All the yeah, people travel it's with like electronics. My personal equipment, mm -hmm. and I had seen the pamphlet where it says like you have to declare if you have electronic equipment that's like you know there's certain boundaries, certain parameters, right? Why do they have this? Because there's a tax. Why do they have this tax? Because people buy cheap electronics in America and come into Mexico and sell cheap electronics in Mexico, right? But I'm not a fucking electronics salesman, and the things yeah. that I had in my bag were were like. They were, I had uh, monitors, I had my, um, I had my, my microphone, like, Don't they're all out of the box, you know what I mean? They're like yeah, neatly you're traveling packed. with the whole ass, like, little studio. They're yeah. Like, yeah, this dude's setting up shop. Yeah. Down at so, Tijuana. So they, they were like, oh, these electronic equipment, like, that's very expensive. I'm like, no, it's not. They're like, no, that's a thousand dollars. Oh, they I'm just like, made it up. It was probably yeah, was, more than that, huh? I don't think it was more than that because it's one second hand and two, it's like two shitty monitors. Like they were specifically pointing to the monitors They're like that's a thousand dollars. I'm like, no, it's not. I have a laptop. It says all of this is allowed. Like all of the electronic equipment that I have. Did the same thing. Is I looked allowed. up the law right in front of them. So <laughs> they pull me. They're like, you got to come with us. So they pull me to the other room. Okay. They sit me down and my mom is like panicking. Now let um, me ask you, this is when you arrive in Mexico? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So my mom is panicking. I'm texting her. I take a photo. I'm like, I'm here. I'm like at the like a customs and border thing. Like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. They see me take a photo. They freak the fuck out. They're like, 
get up right now. Like, they, like, literally lose their minds. They're like, you can't take a photo. You can't take a photo. He, like, pulls me outside. He makes me read this fucking sign. Why don't you take a seat like, right over there? That they printed out, okay? And then they, like, used tape. Like, they duct taped to the wall. Like, there's an unofficial sign that says, it's illegal to take photos inside of, the, like, the detainment center. Uh, and, and that, like, fines that I might have to pay oh, nice. could uh, be up to $16,000 American. Nice. And also prison. Hell and, yeah. and he's like, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna put you in jail. Like, you have to delete that photo right now. So I'm like, okay, fine, dude. I'll fucking delete the photo. Chill the fuck out. Okay, calm down. And I delete the photo. He's like, delete it from your recently deleted. And I'm like, oh, these motherfuckers know what they're doing. Recently <laughs> like, deleted. I, they, yeah, they're like, go to your recently deleted. I'm like, holy shit, this guy's definitely done this before. Oh, yeah. So I delete it from my recently deleted. Okay. So they sit me down Wait. again. And they're like, it's a thousand dollars. You have a thousand dollars of uh, equipment. I'm gonna take your passport. I'm not gonna give it back to you if you don't pay this. Oh well, and that. Wait, can he do that? No. Yeah. Fuck no. They didn't first, threaten that to me. No. That's first crazy. of all, I, I, like at that point, I was like, wait. Can't, yeah, I was like, I'm an American citizen. I don't think he can do that. Yeah. Um. So, he was like, oh, I'm gonna take your passport. I might. But even it's Mexico. Yeah. I but mean, who fucking knows? Doesn't matter, bro. Come on. You I call, know, but like, it's a like one call to the embassy. I know, but they'll fuck your whole week up. Yeah, for sure. Which is, and I then, don't want to do that. And then yeah. just let you go home after yeah. like torturing you for a week. Yeah. Well, then not like literal torture, but just you know, putting you in. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's like it. annoying. Yeah. Um. So I didn't want to deal with all that, obviously. Um. And uh, I'm like, it's not a thousand dollars. So at that point, I'm like, all right, I'll pay this, but like, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna try to haggle with this guy because it's not a thousand dollars. And he's like, prove it. I'm like, okay. And I pull my phone out. He goes, put your fucking phone back in your pocket. I'm like, well, how am I going to prove it? He's like, you should have thought about that before you came into Mexico. And he was like, he wouldn't let me pull my phone out to show him the receipt of like how much these electronic equipment costs. And so, uh, yeah, I, I had down. to pay uh, this arbitrary fee that they made up in their minds. thousand dollars? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You had the cash on you? No. The credit card paper. Oh, no. I Well, I, I was not. I had... I had cash on me, but I was not going to give those motherfuckers cash. I was like, yeah, if you want... You do a credit card? Yeah. Charge back? Yeah, I did not charge back because... Charge um, back Mexican government? Um, I did not charge back because I didn't want to, like, fuck around, you know what I mean? Put that phone Well, now down. that you're back... What if I go back? And they're, they're I'm not going to... So, warrant. So since it happened to me, I haven't been back. So it happened to you in a similar fashion yourself? I used to vacation in Mexico all the time. I love Mexico. Uh-huh. so close. It's beautiful. The Mexican people are wonderful, except the ones that work at, uh, past, uh, you know, uh, yeah, customs. That's got to be one of the best jobs in Mexico. Those guys probably just c clear so much fucking dinero, dude. That is a good job. Uh, I think, like, being a federal is pretty solid. Uh, like, mm -hmm. local police are, are pretty corrupt, as far as I understand, depending on where you are at. So I went in there with a, uh, D DGI, the drone. Oh, yeah, yeah, they told, yeah, they were like, you have a drone in there? I was like, no. So I was, I checked it on, just for no reason. We went down there, it was, it was a few years ago, and we just wanted to get some fun shots for, for YouTube, right? Uh-huh. And, um, the minute we arrived, my drone was on the, you know, the conveyor going in, and they, just like you, they pulled us aside and was like, you can't bring electronics into Mexico. I was like, the fuck? <laughs> I was like, Sid, yeah. what are you talking about? Like, everyone's walking in with a phone. That's just the same cost as Yeah. Me. He's like, listen, dude, here's the deal. We have to charge you sales tax. And I was like, he's like, that or you can just get on a plane and leave. I said, what if I don't want to pay it? He says, you can leave. We won't let you in the country. So I was like, okay. He's like, so this thing costs like $5,000. I was like, no. He oh, let me look it up on the phone. Oh yeah, my, mine did not let me look it up. Oh my god, if but I had that, to pay tax on $5,000, I would have been throwing hands at that point. I, I would have been like, fuck you. Well, you and paid it, tax on almost that much at a thousand, didn't you? At a thousand, but at that point, like, obviously it's you not- You paid a thousand. I paid uh, taxes on $1,000 worth of electronics. Oh, so you paid only a few hundred, a couple hundred Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, come it, on. But it's, not the, it's not the money. It's not the money. You paid a thousand. I know, I know. It's not the money. It's 100% the principal. I know. Because like- I, I'm Turkish. I go to Turkey all the fucking time. Okay, or, or used to. I don't anymore. But like, I know how that shit works. Okay, I know. I know you like fuck over the foreigners. I get it. You know, there's a, there's a, you know, the dollar is very valuable. Like, but in that situation, because I'm not Mexican, because I don't speak Spanish, 
I had no recourse in that situation, in that moment. Like, in Turkey, if they tried to pull that shit on me, I'd be like, I'm a Turkish citizen, shut the fuck up. I speak in Turkish. They'd be like, no, fuck you. Um, in, in Mexico, I'm not fully, uh, you know, I don't know uh, how, how things work that well, but I know I was getting fucked over, but the principle of the matter is what frustrates me. And it's nothing for me. Sure, I'll pay that tax. Who cares, right? But there are so many other people that they could fuck over that that would genuinely ruin their entire trip. Like, that's like $200, you know what I mean? That's, that's well, a decent amount. They of got money. way more than that out of me, and I haven't been back since, and I think it was in Cabo or Puerto Vallarta or one of these hot tourist cities. And I'm really confused by the by the way that they just allow this level of corruption to go on where they're just harassing tourists because I have not been back since then. And I used to go there like twi twice a year pretty much. Yeah. And, um, because I, I, I hated this feeling of like, I'm 100% at this unhinged psycho's whim to do whatever he wants with me. And um, I don't like the feeling. So I'm just not coming back. I don't trust it. I don't trust what they're doing there. Yeah, it just feels I lawless. I mean, for me, like, I don't have any, like, tropical weather or, or any of that, like, nature. I don't like any of that shit anyway. So, like, I was just there simply for my family. Um, oh, there you but, go. Yeah, if but, I, yeah, I, I would say, like, don't bring electronics to Mexico. They'll fuck your whole life up. It's just, like, if, if I were to, if I were to ever uh, go back, I think I would go with, like, uh, a handler. You know what I mean? Like, someone. Both a Mexican that, attorney. Like no, just like someone that, yeah, someone that knows. That would be awesome. Someone that knows what's up. Someone that will like uh, handle all that stuff ahead of time. Because like I will always travel with uh, at least like some level of filming equipment and stuff. And it's not like severe. It's a fucking webcam and a laptop, guys. You know what I mean? Before you freak out over it. Um, and I don't want it. I don't want that to happen again. It was really annoying.